So 2020 Players Champion, because I got distracted by the blue stuff on your face. So right. can you relive every second of that shot from the smell of the grass when you walked on the tee to the sound like, of the cheering? I'll even take you back a little further than that. Oh. So when we were on the range that day before we went to play, JT's instructor, Mr. John McNeely, my coach, was in, I hit a few wedges in front of him and he gave me a couple like, you know, feel thoughts and I hit a couple good ones and I was like, man, I hit some good ones there. I, I might pull this off today. And we got in about 15 and I told JT, I was like, man, I said, I'm, I'm getting nervous about that shot. I said, I wasn't nervous last year, but this year I'm nervous because I have expectations. I think I might hit a good one. And he was like, yeah, man, just do it. So we get off, get over there, we're playing with Max. Of course. And uh, I, don't, I think Joe went first. Joe hits a good one in there. And then I went next. And I, when my ball was in the air, I legit thought it might go in. And JT yelled, get in. And it landed just past the hole, spun back to two feet, nine oh. inches, and the rest is history. The rest is history. Yelling get in at a ball, that's how you know it's its really a good yeah, shot. Yeah, because you can't, you're not allowed to talk to other people's golf ball. Right. So, um, you know, if somebody says it, they are convicted on it. You better be right if you say be good or get in or mashed potatoes. You better be right. You better be right. It better be, those potatoes better be mashed <laughs> by the end of it. Right. Because, <laughs> I mean... But so you and and so you won the two million dollar prize. It was really exciting. It changed your right. life. You now yeah. live next door to the, Beyonce and Jay Z. The taxes actually put me into bankruptcy <laughs> on that. Um, but yeah, it was great. Can you imagine the drink tab if that had gone in? No. You'd still be paying it. I know. Uh, yeah, I won uh, won some money off of it. Uh, but I'd had I was staying in a house with Gino Benelli. Oh, legend. Um, Carlos Ortiz's caddy Eddie and Brett Swedberg who caddies for Ryan Moore and the night before at dinner they're all better golfers than me we decided if one of us wins it we're gonna split it and I was like oh this is a great deal for me like <laughs> I won't win sure enough I won and they come walking out there going crazy and I'd forgotten about our deal oh no Gino's going nuts yeah Flanner yeah yeah I was like why is he so excited I mean we're buddies but like <laughs> And then I was like, oh, man, i got to split it with him. And, I mean, hey, Gino has another kid to feed, so. That's right. And I got a nice little plaque that I hung in my bathroom at my house. And a cake that you just took a bite out and of. And a cake that was very delicious and now all over my face.